to move efficiently between workbooks and worksheets, as well as working within a worksheet, you can use a mouse, keyboard, or a trackpad. If you use a trackpad or a mouse, the pointer on the screen typically appears, as it does here, as a 3D plus, as it's usually called. Now, at different times, the appearance of the mouse pointer changes. If, for example, I put a value in a cell right here, the value 12, if I wanted to copy that to the cell below, I could do this by pointing to the lower right-hand corner of the cell. Notice how the mouse pointer changes. That particular button, by the way, in the corner is called the fill handle. If I hold down the left mouse button now and drag downward, we're simply copying data that way, and that's a common thing to do in Excel. Now, if I wanted to move this somewhere, I could put the mouse pointer on the edge. Notice now that the mouse pointer is an arrow along with a four-way arrow. So I'll hold down the left mouse button and move it to the right. If we wanted to change the width of a column, we could do this in a couple of different ways, but key point here is that if we put the mouse pointer on a column itself, it's a black down arrow. Maybe we want to delete that column or make everything bold. If we want to change the width of a column, we can point to either edge. Now we see the mouse pointer is a left-right arrow. We just become sensitive to the idea that the pointer changes as we move the mouse around to different locations. Maybe we want to make that wider. Also, if we work with workbooks that have more than one worksheet, like the current one, we frequently will switch worksheets, usually by clicking a different worksheet tab at the bottom. We'll point to a tab, click it. We're now looking at a different worksheet. We can also use various keyboard shortcuts here too. If we would like to move one sheet to the right, we could use the keystroke combination control page down. That moves us one sheet to the right. Now that's certainly not any faster than the mouse, but if you were working with a large workbook where each sheet was a different month and you were working with the March data, you don't have to stop and think that April is the next sheet. So you could simply control page down, move one sheet to the right, or control page up one sheet leftward. So at different times, we talk about this idea of navigating between different worksheets. So we get familiar with the idea that we are frequently changing the location of the Excel screen or sheet because we need to make alterations to this workbook, this worksheet, and so on.